Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Mac here playing Grand Theft Auto 5, showing you all the collectibles. These are the 15 knife flights available in the game. If you pair this up with the Under the Bridges guide I'm making, you will get one achievement called Close Shave. Anyways, you're going to need a plane. Obviously, the best plane to use is definitely the stunt plane. I'm using uh, Trevor's drug trafficking plane, and there's a few tips I have. If you want to use his plane, you're going to want to first uh, buy the airport near his house and then just do the drug trafficking and steal the plane after. Next thing, make sure your landing gear is always in and we're gonna pay attention to the screen. So the first one was really easy. The second one is right next to the first one, uh, just the street over. Um, and then to knife with your wheels in, unlike me, you're gonna wanna turn your plane to one side. I prefer to go left. And then you're gonna wanna hit the opposite bumper to keep your height. Now there are one or two that are extremely difficult and you will probably want a character with at least 100 out of 100 flying skill. So that's why I'm using Trevor. Personally, he has the best uh, skill. The next one here is the third one in between these two hotels near the um, beach on the left side of the map there. Here we're going to chain two together, approaching from the north, going south. We're going to hit this little alleyway right there. And... Um, once we hit it, this is what it's going to look like. This one, it's one of the easier ones, but you do have to make a turn if you want to get both at once. If you don't want to get both at once, you can do this two separate ways and try to do your best. Go between these two, these two buildings and then go around, and that's your second one. Now, this is number six. From what I remember, this one's actually pretty difficult. You're going to want to, you're going to, want to aim for that little alleyway right there. And I'm approaching from the north. I've heard people tell me it's better to come from the south. But I actually had better luck with this method. You're going to want to dip down and then level off. There you go. And keep your height and come out of that nice and clean. Now, a big, big important thing to make sure you do is to make sure after every knife flight, pull up your phone and do a quick save. This is going to help you because if you damage your plane, you can always load up that save and you don't have to worry about losing all the knife flights you did. It is almost impossible to do all 15 in one go in one plane. You will not make them. There are like two or three of them that are really, really, really difficult. And uh, you just, it's almost impossible to chain them all together. So I recommend quick saving regularly, at least, you know, every other knife flight. This next one I found, you know, a little bit difficult because it is a tight squeeze, but it's not too bad if you take a long, long approach from the south and go northbound in between these two hotels here. They can be kind of hard to see because of how far they are in the distance and how they're hidden from behind different things. And, but you don't have to get that low to them. As you saw, I just got my wing in there a little bit and it counted. Now here's 9 and 10. I chained two together. Um, coming from the south, you're going to want to go north and hit that corner where those two streets meet. Um... It's a little disorienting because of how the streets are arranged, but you want to go to the left of this gold building, and then you'll see this street here. Knife your way through the entire street to get two knife flights in one. Bam and bam. Pretty easy. Now, these next three are a little bit disorienting just because of the path you can take to get all three of them. Remember, you can do all three of them individually if you so choose, but we're coming in from the northeast, heading southwest, and we're going to the Twin Towers. They're actually called the Twin Towers in the game, and um, you're going to want a knife flight through the Twin Towers and then continue straight through this little park area, and you're going to want to scope out the ground for a parking lot. So there's a parking lot right there on the bottom top right of my screen and that's another knife flight and then there's another parking lot and that's another knife flight. So there's three in there, you can chain them together, you can do them separately. One of them is between the towers and two of them are above a parking lot. Now number 14, I already had this one so it's a little sloppy and you won't see me, it won't say knife flight on my screen. You're going to want to approach from the left, uh, from the south and head in between these two buildings and uh, if you get it, there you go. And the last one, the final one, definitely the hardest one. I had to do this one twice because the game tried to autosave on me and then it crashed me into the side of a building right after. Approach from the south and head to these two towers. I personally like coming in at an angle. It helps me um, get through these, this section. Knife flight in there, nice and close. Don't touch anything too hard and you'll make it out and that'll count. Hopefully that helped you guys out.
Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Later.